Hey, 30 Minute Marketers. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a WordPress plugin for link tracking called Pretty Links. This is part of the Affiliate Marketer for Beginner series. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Gary Baker, and I'm here to show you how to do more to mark your message in less time. To do that, click on that subscribe button, ring the bell for notification of future videos. Also, check out the link in the description and the pin first comment for a simple and effective step-by-step -step blueprint that you can use to start your own online business today. Remember, it's not about faster, it's about focus. And today, we're focused inside of WordPress, and we're going to be looking at the Pretty Links plugin. Now, of course, if you need to install this, you can just go to Plugins and click Add New and simply search for Pretty Links. And you'll see right here, it's Short Links by Pretty Links, Best WordPress Link Tracking Plugin by Blair Williams. You can see all the information here. You can go ahead and click. This will say Install Now, like it says here. You go ahead and click that. It will install. And once it's installed, you go over to Install Plugins, and you will be able to see the plugin. Pretty Links is installed. Of course, this is in alphabetical order. And you'll see Pretty Links right here. There is an option to upgrade to Pro. This is going to cover the free version. So once that ins is installed, you'll see the option for Pretty Links over here on the left-hand side inside of the menu. Click on Pretty Links to see all the Pretty Links that you have available. And of course here you'll see the Pretty Link link title and you'll see the number of clicks when it was published and in the URL to share. In this case, we're talking about sharing a link from your primary domain to an affiliate link. And the typical funnel would look like this. You would share your link on Facebook or YouTube, and then that would go to your website, and then your website would have a link over to your affiliate products. In this case, you want to be able to take this out of the equation, move this link directly over to your affiliate product. Now this is not the optimum solution, but there are cases where you might want to do this, but you still want to use the domain name of your website. In this case, 30minutemarketing.net. So for example, if I shared a link on Facebook direct to an affiliate product, say in my Facebook group, for example, say, hey, check out this latest offer. Then if we were back over here, say for example, Aweber, and I wanted to share this link to Aweber, I would copy that, then I would paste that into this link. And as you can see right there, that's going to give a link from 30minutemarketing.net to slash Aweber. As you can see, that's going to link to Aweber.com. Now, of course, if you go inside of Pretty Links and you were to click edit in this case, you'll see here the target URL which is my affiliate link. So aweber.com slash easy mail htm question mark ID 483040 is my affiliate ID and the pretty link links to https 30 minute marketing.net slash aweber. So if someone was to click on that link in Facebook, it will link them to aweber and I will get credit for the affiliate sale. So let's go ahead over to pretty links and click on add new. And in this case, I'm going to link to ClickFunnels Holiday Webinar. And then we'll go over to ClickFunnels and you can see inside the ClickFunnels Affiliate Program, what they have here is a new offer for a holiday live webinar. And they have some swipe copy down here. So in this case, I can use some of that swipe copy and I can create a link inside of the Affiliate Link Program Dashboard for ClickFunnels, choose a link, webinar registration affiliate sub ID is going to be Facebook sub ID group I'm going to be sharing the webinar registration affiliate link in my Facebook group here is my custom link so I will copy that custom link copy that go back into pretty links and paste that into target URL and here you can either leave the default as you see here, which is a random generated string of characters inside of pretty links, or I could make this something like this click funnels holiday webinar. That way I know that this is for click funnels holiday webinar, or if someone was to read it, they would know that they're clicking from 30 minute marketing.net to join the click funnels holiday webinar. 
then you will go ahead and click update and that will publish that link now I have that link here click funnels holiday webinar as you can see there are no clicks published four seconds ago and I'll copy that into the buffer now I'm gonna go back to Facebook and share this in the Facebook group and I will paste that link into the post and then I will go back to click funnels and I will grab some of this swipe copy how about this won't big moves in 2020 it starts now and I'll paste that right there go back let's grab a little more of this and we'll say this and why not just grab the entire thing just for sake of example and I'll go ahead and I'll paste this in here of course this is my Facebook group so I will be explaining inside the Facebook group of course you can always join the Facebook group there is a link in the description just tell me you came from YouTube and I'll go ahead and explain what I'm doing here to my group and I'll leave a link to this video so they understand that I was showing a demonstration of pretty links here on the YouTube channel and in the meantime if anybody wants to join me and see the ClickFunnels holiday special they can go ahead and join me so this is serving two purposes I'll go ahead and I will post that now you can see that that's posted now if we were to go back to pretty links you can see the clicks are still zero and zero what we can do is refresh that and you can see that three people have already clicked on that inside of the Facebook group so maybe a few people have registered maybe not that could also be the click the automatic clicks from Facebook when I posted a link for it to discover the image so maybe no one has clicked on it but the point here is you can see the links being tracked of course you can reset that are you sure you want to reset your pretty link this will delete all the statistical data in your link database we'll go ahead and click OK we'll zero that back out and as you can see the links have reset so at this point now you are tracking the clicks on your link from where you posted it of course we posted this in the Facebook group so if you were to say post this in the Facebook group as well as post it to the YouTube channel you might want to create a separate separate link one identifying that one is for the Facebook group and the other is for the YouTube channel and then you can compare links of course you could track that inside your affiliate program dashboard with your sub IDs so Facebook group and you could put YouTube channel things like that just another way to track those links using the affiliate program sub IDs along with your pretty link track tracking here tracking the clicks so as you can see pretty links inside of WordPress great way to set up customized links from your own domain and WordPress installation to an affiliate offer make sure that you're tracking the links seeing the number of clicks from where you shared those links so if this video was helpful give me a thumbs up don't forget check the link in the description and the pin first comment for a simple and effective step-by-step -step blueprint that you can use to start your own online business today 30 minute timer here on the end screen click that to subscribe to the channel other videos from the channel here on the end screen with more awesome content just like this one click on those keep watching and I'll talk to you next time bye